Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I know that you guys have been waiting for this video for quite a while. I've been getting tweets, DMs, messages here on YouTube, everywhere asking me where this video was. Now, when I came back from Ecuador, it was fashion week, so that kind of helped me back from editing a little bit, but I'm back and I'm filming this right now so that I can edit the video all, process it all together and upload it for you guys. Um, so welcome back. I have an Ecuadorian lollipop to prove that I was in Ecuador and as you guys will see in this video I was really in Ecuador so a few weeks before going to Ecuador I started to pack and I realized that I was starting to become a little bit anxious now I am someone who has learned to accept their body I tend to not feel bad about my body or my appearance of my face my nose my my stomach I have learned to understand my body I have not been to Ecuador in about eight years and in eight years my body my life my personality has changed so much specifically my body all right so let's just get into this trip and how life-changing it, it really was for me and for my family and we made it to ecuador Yay! you guys are you excited i'm very excited we're in quito right now we don't ha we have our flight to loja um in a few hours so we're staying the, the morning here and um we're gonna go to this mall and you know check it out because we don't really have much time to go to the center of Quito and be tourists so we only have a couple of hours we're gonna be here for a bit and then we fly at 3 p.m. to go to, to Loja by 4 and the fun shall start even more can't wait so apparently back in the day this used to be a huge huge ranch um, clearly it was from like some wealthy wealthy people and then they just turned it into a mall and now because they're not they're not close to the center of Quito so they had to find a place where they can do their shopping and they opened this mall here uh, which is really beautiful wait look at this so they left a lot of the designs for this mall like they did back in the day when they had their ranch do you see the little horse thingies on top cat in my hometown and in South America in general people are very vocal about fat bodies so while I was packing for the trip I was really really feeling nervous and worried that I was going to be criticized constantly on this trip or at least that I was going to have some really weird looks while walking down the street like in many places that I go to I definitely stick out like a sore thumb not only am I like plus size but I'm very bold and what I wear so we stepped into this place that's like Walgreens where you can shop for clothes but then there's also veggies and I found my favorite fruit that's granadilla, um, though. That's not I know I love this one I mean la granadilla y el tomate oh de árbol oh my god it's so good mm. she's like no I'm good <laughs> We're so excited. We're like literally running around looking at fruits and we're like, look, fruits! Look at this really, really weird one, which I got really excited about. Hold on, let me show it to you guys. What is this? It's so interesting, but it's a la guanabana. It's really, really cute. Being in Quito for that one day made me realize that this trip was going to be very interesting. I'm not someone who dresses shyly or that covers her body. I wear crop tops and tight jeans and I show off my body and I rock the clothes that I want to wear all the time because I believe that no matter what size I am, I'm allowed to live a good life and wear the fashion that I want to wear. And since I was traveling to a smaller town, I knew that the looks and the comments might be a little bit more extreme than it was in Quito so I was mentally preparing myself to get there and we finally made it we got out of the airport and we're on our way <laughs> we're on our way home um, we're excited the family's here Hola. and um, yeah I gotta pee so let's go home some relatives I had not seen in eight years and some other relatives I had not seen since I was 15 years old and that was quite a while once we got there it felt really really great to be back home with my family and my cousins and my nieces and my uncles and everyone and the new family members that I had not met yet it felt like we all clicked automatically you felt the family love they welcomed us with umitas and tamales then my sisters and i started playing with my cousins and my little nephews and nieces and it felt so great to be back home it also happened to be my aunt's birthday and my mother's birthday so we knew that we wanted to celebrate that first night that we got there 
So if you don't know, for a lot of Latinos, it is customary to smash the birthday person's face into their birthday cake. It's a form of celebration. It's a fun thing to do. Um, and if you guys remember in my other vlog, um, it happened to me and now it was my aunt and my mom's birthday so we knew that it was going to happen to them. However, my aunt was not feeling very well so we knew that we could not smash her face into the cake. Um, but when it came time for my mom, there was no mercy. <laughs> Sisters and I got so excited that we were back that at one point we were just smashing everyone's face into the cake. We kept asking whose birthday it was next and we knew that a couple of people had birthdays coming in the next couple of months and since we weren't going to be there we had to celebrate with them and by celebrating we mean smashing their faces into the cake. So the first outfit that I'm going to show you guys is this amazing and probably one of my favorite dresses is this ASOS dress which is completely black. There's nothing, no prints on it except for these brown buttons which are so pretty. I really like this dress and I decided to style it with this hat that I got at Dr. J's. Um, these boots from Ashley Stewart and of course the bag that I've been wearing for years now I think. Um, this Forever 21 bag which I kind of match up with everything. Right now we're gonna go to the main reason why I came to my hometown. There's these specific um, sachi papas. For those of you who do not know what that is, it's french fries with a piece of sausage. But the thing with this one is that it's super, super good because of a specific sauce that this lady has. Now, this sauce is not just like a basic tomato and mayo mix. It's something that she created herself and so many people have offered her so much money uh, for her to release it and she never has. But recently she did, and now that I'm in Ecuador, I'm gonna go and try it out right now because I haven't had it in like seven years, so we're really excited. Let's go, let's go show you. So unfortunately, as we walked by, it was closed. So now we're gonna go to another place called Sonaye, where they do these little pan de yucas and yogurt, and it's really, really good. What? Rosie what? Frozen yogurt. Frozen yogurt, that's right. So this used to be my favorite place when I was in high school and I lived here. We would literally come and sit right there with my friends. It's adorable. <laughs> Eat it. Take some of your yogurt. Show it to them. No, disgusting. <laughs> So we decided to go home, we ended up taking a nap, and we came back, and they were open. So we actually had planned to come on later, around 7 p.m., but we couldn't wait. We decided to come. So here it is. Like, it looks just a plain french fries and a sausage, but it's the sauce that makes it, like, legit. And I haven't had this in literally seven years, so. Seven years, yeah. Oh my god. I'm trying not to make a scene because everyone's staring at me because I'm vlogging and I don't think they're used to this. But I want to cry because this is so good. You guys, look at the view from my room. It is ridiculous. It looks like a painting from Guayasamin. Do you look at the mountains, the houses? I just want to cry. Alright you guys, so I'm currently in the main center of the city. And it's the cathedral. So this is the main cathedral. And um, I'll show you guys the cathedral in a bit. It's that one right there. Look how gorgeous this park is. Alright, now I'm looking for my sisters because I don't know where I'm going. Okay, I think they're on that side. I think I see someone. We're gonna go to my aunt's cafeteria. She has like a little cafe. We're gonna have breakfast there and then running some errands and seeing the city, hopefully. This is the way to her little cafeteria, a little cafe spot, and it is beautiful. Look how cute little cafe spa. If you guys are ever here, come here. It's a bunch of money at my aunt's place. Hola. Now this is called moyoko and it's literally my favorite thing. So this is made out of plantains. They have a special sauce. I don't know what that is right here. Oh, cheese. <laughs> and then the eggs and the sauce. Jesus, some mayo. You guys? So you guys? You guys have to come. You guys? <laughs> Delicious. Good job, Dora. <laughs> Thanks, Boots. <laughs> I have Boots tattoos. 
So when I travel, I usually tend to get a lot of clothes from brands or I tend to shop a lot so that I can show you guys new styles, new looks. But this time, I didn't really have time to prepare my outfits. And by preparing, I mean I didn't really have time to shop and get new things. So I had to recycle everything that I already had in my closet. And one of the things that I brought was this leopard uh, dress, which I got from Target. And I styled it over a mesh top and this Ashley Stewart Paperboy hat, an ASOS bag, and my black DSW for delicious boots. How beautiful is this place? So I'm currently running errands to get an idea or whatever. And um, it's literally so stunning. It's so romantic. Like, I can't. And the little water fountain down there. Dead. Like many Catholic cities, they have a lot of churches, and this one's one of my favorites because it's so pretty and the art is beautiful. I mean, look at the colors. Do you agree, friend? Yes. Good. Beautiful. Gorgeous. So we decided to do a last minute trip to Guangai and um, we just ro drove for about two and a half hours or just about two hours and um, now we're at a restaurant over here. Everyone's excited because we haven't had dinner so we're just about to eat something and I'll show you what it is. I'm really excited to go to get there because we actually are one of the, like, the most beautiful cities in Ecuador and we've never been and it's only three hours away from us so off we go but now let's go order some food. Good morning, you guys. It is a brand new day, and we're currently in Das Orgues, and we're at a beautiful church. There's this beautiful church that it's like in the middle of the mountain, and it's really beautiful. We're gonna be on our way to that one after we go into this church. And um, I just wanna show you guys the view. It's absolutely stunning. The mountains are just breathtaking, and then the houses with all the colorful, you know, ceilings, and rooftops. It just, it's just beautiful. Um, so now we're gonna head over to the church and I'll also show you what I'm wearing today. first church in Cuenca, my family took us to see the second church. It's really famous and is known for looking like it's floating in the clouds because when it gets foggy, all you see is the church among the clouds since it's so high up in the mountains. Now this church was a lot harder to get to because there were a lot of steps. I think there had to be over 100 steps to get there, if not more, I didn't count. It's just concentrating on not freaking out that I was going up really, really high. But once you get up there, the view is absolutely stunning and worth it. We still have a long way to go. We started all the way down there, and these steps are really exhausting, so off we go. Now, the whole point is that this church, they call it the church in the clouds, because when it's cloudy and foggy, it looks like the it looks like the church is just floating on clouds. So it's beautiful. And the inside is gorgeous. But it is super, super up in the mountain. So we're taking breathers and going up. The church is in there. And we're exhausted. We made it. I am so sweaty. Oh my god, I'm so hot. But it's absolutely beautiful. Definitely worth the commute and the adventure. What do you think, Jay? So is it worth the commute? It's really pretty. Time. Yeah. So apparently the rocks have a formation of the Virgin Mary's face, and right over here is Jesus Christ. But I don't see any formation. So if you guys see it, let me know down in the comment section below. Let me get a little closer for you guys because I do not see it at all. I'm so terrified of heights. I don't even know how I came up this high. It's terrifying. I'm literally shaking and I can't. I'm ready to go downstairs. 
I'm terrified. The third look that I managed to film for you guys is this gray leopard dress from fashion to figure it has a really big hole in the chest so it kind of shows your boobs a little bit but it's still very discreet depending on how you stand or you sit um it's really really comfortable because it has so much stretch and it's very flowy at the same time i decided to pair it with my eloquy belt which i'm obsessed with and of course my white feelers which i never stop wearing anymore and to top it all off to be comfortable i added my small little white backpack from forever 21. <laughs> My brother double fisting ice cream cones. Because <laughs> I can't commit to anyone. <laughs> so we're waiting for my cousin, and in the meantime, I'm gonna serenade the girls. The girls. Oh, and Jace. No sé por qué Fuera. tan rápido de ti. Fuera. Por qué me ilusioné Fuera. si tú eras para en la vida para mí. La vi. Sorry. Cuando quieres chico. One of my favorite places to go eat in Ecuador is the market. And in the market, you go and buy your groceries. So you get your fresh fruits, your fresh vegetables, anything you may need for the week or the day to cook for your family. However, they also sell food hot and ready for everyone to eat. And my family and I decided to head over and have a meal in Cuenca before we headed back home. All right, so we came into what they call a mercado. So this is where they sell fruits meats, veggies, this is where people come and buy foods all the time and it's actually where you can find the best food um, you can find fresh pig, fresh everything pork. honestly, pork, whatever, you can find it all. Fresh pig, <laughs> you mean pork? Does it get any fresher than this B? I ordered a coconut juice So good. Que rico. Oh damn, this is good fuck. Hey, don't press. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get demonetized, bitch. Este es el plato es pork. Um, ¿cómo se llama esto? Le dicen cascaritas, which is just pork skin. And then tomato, curtido. curtido, onions, it's really good. And then some cornbread on the side, my coconut juice. Now we're at Torre de Lake, which means, uh, which is a place where they do um, artisanal work and it's all handmade stuff and like really beautiful jewelry. So let's go see. Maybe then. So all of this jewelry is handmade and it's all like pure silver. girl I always wear a pair of gold hoops however I always end up buying the cheap ones but here I found some silver ones gold plated um, for $20 so of course it was a no-brainer I had to get it and um, yeah I'm a happy camper now mm. all right guys so now it's up where are we? in the mirador? in the turi? okay we are in the mirador de turi 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 de Cuenca terrible tour guides <laughs> este, but you can see everything in the back. It's beautiful. The lights are nice. But la iglesia es lo más bonito, creo yo. Mira. Mira esta vaina hoy está bonita. ¿Qué estás diciendo? Ecuatoriana. Gorgeous. 
hometown and we are currently about to have a seafood dinner. It's not really like a seafood area, but they do really, really good seafood around here. And um, I'm also about to have my favorite beer, which is this Ecuadorian beer here at Cold Pilsner. And um, it's really, really good. So it's this one right here. Um, and it tastes really, it's not like sweet, but it's um, it's creamy. Wait, how do you know? Don't tell mom. <laughs> Is that serious? Is that serious? This shit won't break. <laughs> Estamos ahorita en Vilcabamba y Vilcabamba es la ciudad en la cual nació mi mamá. And this is the church right here where she was baptized. Over there. Oh no, oh no. And there's some wild dogs over here just having some of their life. Please, please leave me alone. Please. This is the church. I got there my family was very kind and very warm there was no fat shaming comments from my family I literally felt so calm and relaxed and relieved finally that I got to a place where I could show off my confidence to my relatives and I feel like they could sense it so there were no fat shaming comments from anyone even though I was much bigger this is the last time they saw me ever I did notice some looks and whispers while I was walking around with my sisters it is a really small town so they're not used to seeing people be so bold with myself but the fact that i was the fat person being so bold wearing all of these big bright prints it was it was a little bit overwhelming for them and for me i have to say at one point i didn't want to wear certain things because i was so nervous that i was going to call too much attention to myself and that made me feel really bad because i'm someone who likes to call attention when it comes to fashion because i like to show off my good taste in clothes and I like to express who I am and how I'm feeling and that's why many of us dress the way we do. Safe. Nowhere is safe. That's why. Mi tía, mi tía encontró unas maracuyas y nos acaba de comprar. Vamos a tratarla. So apparently they found a snake. The kids were playing around here and they found a snake so they were looking for it. <laughs> he doesn't want me to show you guys because he said that all, he doesn't want bad promotion of the country. I'm gonna try and take some pictures. You might recognize this dress that I'm wearing in Vilcabamba. I have worn it before in the week that I tried out Mod Cloud for a while, and it was really, really fun and great to wear it again because it's just such a bright town. You have the sun, the blue sky, the green mountains, the animals, um, that, that that dress just felt like the perfect outfit for that occasion. I styled it with these white sandals that I bought last minute at Rainbow and they cost about $13 and probably one of the best investments I've made in my life. They were extremely comfortable and I feel like I'm going to be wearing these in many different vacations because they're so comfortable and I can walk for hours with them. Quit my pants. Jason has put on his contacts and Catherine gets him nervous so we kicked her out the room and she keeps trying to, I said no, Catherine, sorry, you're making him nervous. Leave the house right now. Come on, just, if you're 10 miles away, he'll be better. Can I get a hoodie, please? No, get out. Bye, sorry, get your arm out, you're gonna get hurt. Jason, can I get No. She needs to put on his contacts. I'm not doing nothing. You're breathing. Just get out, please. You're making him nervous. Catherine, go, please. <laughs> Bye. He's gonna get it any second now. 
She's at the door. She's at the door. Kick her out. Oh, 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 she's gone. Let's go see what she's doing. Catherine? Get out. Sorry. I just Catherine, what Michael? Me to Meg. 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 Hi everyone! Everyone's here. Get out the shot. Hi, you little princess! Okay, I guess I'll. Sudado de mariscos. Sudado de mariscos. La chanita Juanita. Ahí sale dedicada. Te ves mejor en esta cámara, mi hija. Y ahora en adelante te voy a ver por la cámara, ¿no? Como no. saw her eggs after 15 years. Someone saw her eggs after 15 years. And it was awkward. <laughs> so, ahorita estamos en camino a Hipito. We're on our way to a park. Um, we call Hipito here. It was literally one of my favorite parks. It's so pretty. It has little miniature um, Statue of Liberty and like other iconic places around the world. But it's all in one park and it's really pretty. So we're gonna go shoot this cute little look that I have on, which by the way, I think is my favorite look. I have these cute little barrettes on. I have a silver gold one, my ribbon sunglasses, my pretty little things dress, which you guys will see in a bit. And I have my backpack from Rainbow and my feelers, which have been a lifesaver in this trip because every single time I keep wearing boots or heels or anything like that, my ankle keeps getting swollen. But with these boot, with these sneakers, everything is well. We have changed our plans and we're off to the mall here. And this is their only mall, so we'll show you that. Um, it's been really cold and rainy all of these days that we've been here because we came here in winter. But it gets about 50 to 60 degrees, and that's about it. Um, off to the mall we go. She's still having her moment. That was her first boyfriend, her first love. Seen after 15 minutes, have woken up many, many emotions. All of a sudden, she's very horny. Gracias. <laughs> 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 we found some embarrassing videos of Maria, and we're going to show the brother and the wife. Let's see, negra. <laughs> the rain just got so loud. It's a brand new day and we're going right now to it's these day. Um, we woke up really, really early. Everyone got ready. They're still really sleepy in the back. Um, and we're going to head over. It's one of my favorite churches here. It's super, super pretty. It's like white and blue. And we'll show you guys in a bit. Careful, they spit. What is that one? <laughs> You want your little picture with the little llama? I mean, what is this? Alpaca? Is that a llama? It's a pack. After a two hour commute, we finally made it to my favorite church. This church is called El Cisne, and well, the area is called El Cisne. And the reason why this is my favorite church is because it's really, really huge and it's blue and it's absolutely stunning. Um, we came right on time for the 11 a.m. mass, so then we're gonna go in. Um, but I can't wait to take my pictures here because it's absolutely stunning.
before that this trip was a life-changing experience for myself and my family and it was because it opened a conversation that I pretty much never had with my family. Now I always talk about being body positive with you guys and my friends and strangers in the street but I really don't have these conversations with my family and it may be because they're it's too close to my heart I love them too much and sometimes it's a hard conversation to have but talking about having people look at me down the streets and um, people have rude fat shaming comments around my sisters or me um, open the conversation with my parents it helped us talk about fat phobia it helped us talk about how it is not okay to comment on people's bodies and eating habits and finally having this conversation which was really uncomfortable and hard to have with my family it made me feel comfortable in myself and it made me feel confident again in this trip so i put my insecurities aside and i wore whatever the fuck i wanted to wear now this time to make sure and to push my confidence a little bit more i decided to wear this fashion to figure jumpsuit which shows my belly and kind of hugs around my entire body. I wanted to make sure and remind people that you can be confident at any size. No matter what it is you're afraid of wearing, you should wear it for yourself and no one else. Now this jumpsuit from Fashion to Vigor, I styled with my white filas again. I kind of lived in them all the time. My white little backpack and I styled my hair kind of w curling the ends out and two huge uh, berets on the sides of my head. I definitely felt cute that day. Wow, this is so beautiful. Hi, how are you? Okay. Scar, brother, help me. Long live the king. <laughs> Look at that loser, he's carrying his ex. <laughs> When I lived here, I used to love a specific bag of chips. Um, it was called Riscos. And I want to try it again because, you know, as you grow up, your taste buds evolve sometimes. So I just want to see if I still like them. Can you hold the camera for me? I came here to try. You want to try too? All right. All right. What is that? Riscos. Mm. So good. Yep. My taste buds are still trash. You want to try it? Yes. Oh, damn. Right? I'm going to buy a whole bunch of bags and take it to New York. In the park that we were trying to go that day, but it started raining. We couldn't go. It's called Hipito. And it's actually one of my favorite, favorite parks. They have a lot of um, different areas of playing. They have a lot of... Oh, let me show you. These ones bite together that are terrible. Right? Yeah. spending time with my family that I hadn't seen in such a long time and I was running so many errands I didn't get to film every outfit that I wanted to show you guys however I did get to show you this black outfit from Prem now I bought this immediately when it came out and I think this is when Prem came out itself and I kind of live in it I wear it in the summer I wear it in the fall in the winter um, on a warm day I don't wear anything under it and on a cold day I just add a turtleneck <laughs> I just I just downloaded this ghost app and we're gonna see if we can find any ghosts. What is the captain teach the ghost? She dead though. <laughs> Hold on. Go into the room. Don't turn on the light though. I hate it. I know. My head's always all the same way. Yeah. Like, 
Put it to Captain to make sure. What the hell was that? Hold on. There's something here. Maybe they're like, like, lost. Is there anyone here that wants to communicate? It's the moment of the truth. Where are the fantasmas? Atrás, Miss. Vamos, vamos. Vayan por atrás. Ahí está el tesoro escondido. El depósito. So legend has it. ¿Dónde tiene? Hold on. Legend has it that here in this back room, um, this used to be a cemetery for uh, indigenous people, and someone uh, buried a treasure in here. So. Um, yeah, let's see if we find any treasure. Ghost hunting moment. But first a commercial, apparently. Because you're cheap and you don't want to buy that. ¿Hay algún fantasma aquí que se quiera comunicar? Y está por chucha. Catherine, ¿ves algo? No. ¿Sientes algo? Siento un espíritu. ¿Cómo te dices? Ahí está, termina por ahí. Both fingers your ass. She kind of is like, I wish. Empty promises. She's like, it's been long, two weeks. Doesn't deny it. Do you see anything, Catherine? You're the ghost hunter. What are you supposed to see? Like a shade a ghost, or something? I guess. Oh. I've never even noticed this room in here. Yeah. Let's go. There has to be evil afoot. No, it's not yet to come. She has to guide us. It's locked. All right, let's go. It's the last breakfast we're having here, and Catherine is so hungover. Tatiana looks like a mop. <laughs> like a mop. <woman. laughs> Stuff is half dead, and Catherine has been dead for dead. two years. <laughs> you guys fuck me, I guess. <laughs> and Jason. Me too. And Jason. Well, he looks like that, so no sad. <laughs> Coco! Coquito! Foto? Ya, a ver, sonríe. Sonríe! Don't you give a foto, Coco? Coco! <laughs> After two long weeks of seeing my family, running so many errands over there, and having a life-changing experience with my family about being able to talk about body positivity with them it was time to go and we started to say goodbyes to our family and as much as I was relieved to finally go back home I also knew that I was very proud of myself for overcoming a fear of coming to my hometown which is something that a lot of us who are immigrants feel whenever you go back to your hometown you're always afraid of hearing these fat shaming comments about your body and I managed to get through it and I survived and I managed to have a great time with my family and enjoying myself in great fashion while I, was up, while I was over there. I hope this video reminds you to live your best life. Don't live in fear. Go live your life right now. Let me know what was your favorite part of the vlog down in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Um, hit the like button to know that you did enjoy this video and to leave a lovely comment and tag your mom or your grandma or your neighbor, tag someone. Thank you guys for watching. Manolo and I say goodbye. Bye, shake it, my baby. And see you in the next video. Bye.